Bloody hell, not seen this all year. And here we are, at Glasgow Central. Hey guys, Thong here, welcome back to a new video now today. I came up from London this morning to here in Glasgow for the big match tonight between Celtic versus Copenhagen in the second leg of the round of 32 Europa League match and I'm buzzing for it. It's not the first time I'm going to be watching Celtic on a European night. That famous video versus Zenit that I went to when I first experienced how good the atmosphere was at Celtic Park and then there was AIK earlier on in the season and now tonight Copenhagen first leg was one all they could get a massive result here. I'm going to back Celtic today. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win. They always seem to concede against European opposition but I think Edouard is going to be on fire today because he's got 21 goals in 25 this season and in the last two matches he's scored one of which of them being the opener versus Copenhagen in their one all draw. I'm going to say Edouard gets two goals today I think he's going to end up being the man of the match. Scottish football just keep proving people wrong with how good teams like Celtic and Rangers are doing in Europe and they keep taking the next steps and who knows how far these teams can go. The main reason I wanted to come tonight was to witness the atmosphere. Apparently the Green Brigade have got a TIFO ready Let's go check out Glasgow. I need some food and then let's go watch some football. Let's go. Chrissy here, right. just got off at Glasgow Central. Right. And I've seen you. What was your score prediction for the Celtic uh, game? I see a 2 1 Celtic victory. Uh, they go through. Yeah. Hopefully they can go home. Mm. Uh, and then they'll probably get the Rangers next round. Right, so we come to Box Bar here in Glasgow. A few of you guys recommend it. And this portion size is absolutely insane. I went for the uh, Country Boy chicken burger and I got a massive milkshake as well. I'm just shocked. Unreal. Nice shirt as well. Right, so we come here to the classic football shirts pop up here in Glasgow. So it's not here for long, it's gone on the 1st of March. But whilst it's here, we could take a look at some of these stunning Celtic and Rangers mainly and other SPFL club kits. Have a look at this one. That is proper retro. John Hartson. Yeah. Virgil van Dijk. Dijk. <laughs> there you go, man. There we go. That's who you're looking at. Larson, yeah, man, number man. seven. <clears throat> Some player, eh? The best. Yeah. Uh. Got some Celtic fans here at uh, Classic Football Shirts. You got a shirt yourself. Let's have a look. The black and gold Larson. Tonight you're playing Copenhagen. Probably 2 0. 2 0 win? Edward yeah, I think Edward's gonna have a good game. Yeah, 2 0. I think Maguire will score first. Okay, decent. What are you going for? 3 1. 3 1. Oh, Edward. How far can you go in the Europa League? I can go to the final as long as we. Final? As long as we progress tonight. And then yeah. If we get any further, that's just a bonus for the season, I think. A couple of lucky results, I think we'll be able to the final. Yeah. What a store that was. Classic football shirts, pop up store. If you live in Glasgow, go check it out whilst it's still here, because it's not going to be here for long. Now to go to our friends over at Social Recluse. Right, we're here in Social Recluse. Now, if you didn't know and you didn't watch the Rangers vlog where I talked about this place, I came here with Thog Dad. They set us up with some lovely clothes. This place is awesome, okay? If you live in Glasgow, you have to come check it out. You know, they basically get a mix of casual wear and it's all to do with music as well. It's Thog Dad approved and that's the main thing. 46 Kane Street and your classic football shirts around the corner as well. Now to bring you guys some information about FC Copenhagen. They're second currently in the Danish league behind FC Michelin. They've got really good fans that go home and away and we're gonna see them at Celtic Park today. I actually went to the pub just now and you can just see how good their fans were. <laughs> Now, although Copenhagen are second in the league, their recent form hasn't been the greatest and they haven't won in five matches. They've lost three and drawn two. One player to watch out for in the Copenhagen lineup is their striker, Undoy. He's got eight goals and four assists in 12 matches, which is one goal slash assist per game. <laughs> Now it's time to go to the ground. It's getting dark, it's match day, and I can't wait for this atmosphere. It's going to be special. Right, we're here in O'Neill's Glasgow. Um, Paul, you're a Celtic fan. What's the atmosphere like in here? Well, we are at number by Yeah. 
It's electric, man. It's absolutely electric. They're literally dancing. They're all dancing right now, but it's a great atmosphere, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's yeah. amazing. We've both taken some fans can join in together. That's what it's all about. Two now, Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll have one one in an extra time. Oh, imagine. Come in the numbers. I'm thinking 2 0 tonight. 2 0? Edward and Forrest. Yep. Okay, yep. okay, decent. Uh, 2 1, Edward. Okay, we got Paul the team and Corey here. Right, big game today. Europa League round of 32. Score prediction? <laughs> yeah? 2 0, you're saying? Who's getting the goals? School predictions, we. 3 1 Celtic. 2 0 Celtic. Alright, school predictions, what are you going for? 3 0. 3 0. Celtic, Copenhagen. Oh! 2 0 today. 2 0. Yep. Right, we've got Declan here, another Celtic fan. School prediction today? I've seen 3 0 to Celtic. I think it'll be a good game. Yep. Edward and Big Tom Logic, we do. Ooh! Right, Kev, Celtic fan here. School prediction today? 3-1 uh, Celtic. 3-1 Celtic. How far can you go in this competition? Uh, next round, I think. Right, lads, score predictions today. 3-0 Celtic. 3-0 Celtic. 3-0. 3-0 as well. Edward. 2-0 win. Edward. And it's time to go to the seats. Just in time. Green Brigade over there. My right, seat's just on the right. Look at this. Here comes the light show. Come on, Celtic! 
Three one. Yeah. Three one. Yeah. Three one. Okay. We said two one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's what? Oh! oh. oh. It's Edward! Yeah. Close! Very, very close, just not enough on it. And there's the half time whistle. A solid half of Celtic. Nil nil, but the fans will take that. Alright, we've got Cole here, Celtic fan. Thoughts on that first half? I mean, the first half, I think it was quite slow to start. Like, as long as you can on, you yeah. have even more chances for like, it. What's your full-time prediction? Full time, I think. If you come out the same path, then you're exactly the same. You've got a lot more pressure on it. Yeah. Right, Rory, happy with that first half? Ah, probably a good game. Some of our chances were good. Ireland has got a good one, but second half, I didn't really think we could do it. Yeah. Just keep it, like, one up enough. And here are the players. They're back out for the second half. And here we go. Of a penalty there. <laughs> the game's been. Oh, it's... The goal's been disallowed. It was a great finish. No. Oh, no. Shocking. Copenhagen are one nil up at Celtic Park. And the players and the fans and all the police are congested up at the bottom there. I don't know what just happened here. I think it was a mistake at the back. Massive chance right here. Massive. Oh, he's overcooked it. Celtic do get one back, it goes to extra time. If they get another, they win. And then if Copenhagen scores, um, then they get through. So really, Celtic just need to get one and then focus on extra time. I have no idea how this hasn't gone into the back of the net. check VAR because it could have been oh my god he's paused it they're checking VAR for a possible handball if Celtic get this and they score it it will go to extra time he's doing a, he's doing a penalty wow Celtic have a penalty wow that's only the first step though they have to score the penalty now here we go The atmosphere here is absolutely unbelievable. Look at the Green Brigade. I don't believe this. 
just as Soic fans were celebrating the penalty. Copenhagen have made it 2 1. 85th minute. 85th minute, and Copenhagen are 2 1 up. Mistake. I don't know what's going on. Copenhagen are through. And this draw is over. And Doi makes it 3 1. Which makes it 4 2 on aggregate. A lot of fans waiting to leave now. fans have already walked but that is the final whistle party time for Copenhagen but really really upsetting for Celtic to go away like that at least this goodbye isn't permanent Right, there we go. Full-time Celtic lose and are out of the Europa League. At least they can now focus on the league. You know, it's pretty much guaranteed that they're going to make nine in a row. And now that they can just, you know, focus on the league and get that done, it's important for them. And although there's so many negatives to look at today, it was shocking defensively. Um, mistakes all around the back. Uh, and that if that was cut out, it'd be a completely different game. And you know what? As soon as they got the first goal, it put a lot of pressure on Celtic. Especially because Rangers have already made it through to the round, which made it even worse for them. The fact that Rangers played it a day earlier than every other team, to know that they were already through, put a bit of pressure on Celtic's shoulders. I don't think that helped. There was a lot of problems today. I think defensive areas need to be cut out. Neil Lennon will be screaming at the team at full time because that was just a not up to par performance. And I'm sure you Celtic fans will agree with me when I say that. I've seen Celtic do very well, you know, beat Zenit a few years back, AIK smashed them. So why... You know, considering how well they're doing in the SPFL, why they lost like that at home, I don't know. Listen, tell me in the comments what's going on. Um, but it looks like Celtic could get nine in a row. Let me know in the comments, can they get ten in a row? And how far can Rangers go in the Europa League? We'll find out very soon. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And it's a bad day in Glasgow, but they'll be back. All right, see you guys. Bye.